Hello, fellow heathens. Welcome to Sacred Soliloquy. Grab your favorite pillow and get cozy and comfortable as we dive right in and narrate, risk it all. I knocked on the door several times, anxious to know what it was all about. Holding my groceries in my hands, I had a miserable expression on my face because of my migraines. His intentions better be worth it. As soon as I got Kurt's call, I got back on my bike and rode to his address. I thought my place was fancy. I was wrong, very wrong. His hotel had the most breathtaking spa and a posh inside bar. A young woman who seemed to be well of in her late teens opened the door for me and I was in awe. You must be the girlfriend, she said with a frown on her face. I... Before I finished my sentence, Kurt popped up behind her and nodded hurriedly. I nodded back and walked inside. Kurt hugged me, squeezing the air out of lungs and pulled away. When we looked back, the teenager had disappeared. Kurt kissed my hands several times of you are a lifesaver. I wasn't getting out of this without your help. He said, those were very long two days. I addressed my issue immediately. Girl, I am so sorry. I wasn't ready to go down memory lane, at least not yet. He defended. The least you could do is call or text, I said. And for that I owe you one, he said simply. I walked to his couch and let myself sit. You must be exhausted. Would you like anything to eat? I didn't cook or nothing, but, um, he stopped talking and watched me massage my temple. Are you okay? He asked. Yes, I just got this never-ending headache. I said, what do you do when that happens? Kurt asked me. I make my organic smoothie. I said, pointing at my grocery. Well, I can help you make one. I got a blender. I am not sure if I can use it. He walked to his kitchen drawer and took a blender that seemed in new state. I got up and put my groceries on the table. 20 minutes later, I was having the best smoothie I have made in minute. Kurt took a sip and simply smiled. Probably thought it was tasty too. Och, he breed impatiently. What is this all about? I asked. You should probably sit down, he notioned. I sat on the kitchen stool and him on the other side, sipping the last drop of my smoothie. Look, I'm a musician and I have done very bad things to get where I am at. He said simply, I have no regrets or maybe I do. He sighed. When I first started singing, I wasn't very good but I still loved it and no one was really paying attention to me. He admitted. My manager at the time thought I'd do far better if I moved to the US and make a name for myself. He made it sound as if I was going to get what I wanted, and I believed him, but not in the way I had in mind, he stated. I leaned closer as my attention was undivided at this moment. A few months in Los Angeles, and none of my love songs were making a wave. Grace, an American girl my manager was dating at the time stopped by the studio we were working at, she swiftly selected a few of my new tracks and kept a spell on them, a witch she was. In the next few months, I was hitting 600,000 monthly listeners in Spotify, which is fair for an unknown artist who just started to hit the charts. It could have been better, but we really didn't want to raise any suspicion. He explained. So, you were on board with this? I asked. I was. All I wanted is to be known for my work, no matter how, he confessed. Okay, go on. I prompted. I got this bad boy persona and had to live by it. A few contracts later and I was signed to a small record label, Indiana Cruz. I made a few hit tracks that sent me in 2 million listeners per month in my first year. My team were doing what's possible to get me on tour ASAP. He paused as he sipped water from a bottle next to him. I was making a ton of money by then, but it was about to go downhill from there, he said thoughtfully. 
Clubbing, women, and drugs is part of the job. He admitted, and that's where love records found me. He said with a little whine beneath his words. Hey, thank you for taking your time and tuning in. Stay blessed and be blessed. And as always, don't forget to like, follow, and share the episode with family and friends.